Hello audience, I am the book wizard, and this is my friend, the book dragon. Our job is to take you on mythical journeys through books. Today we will be looking into the book, The Monkey Wrench Gang by Edward Abbey. Now it's time for our mythical journey. Follow me, let's go! The Monkey Wrench Gang was set in the 1970s in the western deserts of the US. Throughout the books, the characters travel mostly between Utah and Arizona. As you can see, this land is full of magnificent rock formations and canyons, but there is a rise of civilization. New roads, towns, and bridges. This will rise will become important later in this video. Edward's style in this book is very analytical and he writes in extreme detail. In the background of the book, he first introduces each of the four protagonists in chapters called The Origins. The main protagonists are Seldom Seen Smith, Dr. Sarvis, Bonnie Abzug, and George Hayduke. These origins give us, the readers, an insight into the main characters prior to entering the exposition. Personally, I found these initially that these characters are not very likable which was interesting choice by Abby. Selim Seen is the only one who doesn't commit a crime in his origin. This makes me want to read more to find out more about these characters. Once the exposition starts, the four main characters meet for the first time. Miss Abzug and Dr. Sarvis are going on a raft trip down the Grand Canyon. Seldom Seen is the raft guide and, and Seldom Seen hires Heydu as an assistant guide. Once on the trip, the four connect over similar hatred towards the industrialization of the western deserts. These four then form the gang and set off to destroy the property of the oil and building companies. How, how much will they destroy? Will they get caught? You'll just have to read the book to find out. For the part you've all been waiting for, our opinion. On a scale, of this book deserves to be thrown in a fire to I immediately want to read every other book by this author we would give it about a I would read another book by this author at some point probably not in the near future though so this is the equivalent of about maybe like a 6 out of 10 5 being an average book and it kept me reading throughout the book were Hayduke's ridiculous endeavors. He got himself into some absolutely terrible situation, and it was my curiosity of will he escape? Hayduke rappelling down a cliff in his jeep using the witch to escape the state patrol was a very exciting moment, and I was reading very fast to figure out what would happen. You should read this book if you like people fighting for what you believe in. Because this is what the whole book is about. These four people fighting to save the desert. You should also read this book if you're a fan of the environment and its natural beauty. Because that is what these people were fighting for. Throughout the book, we noticed there were moments on race, class, and gender. First off, let's talk about race. When the ga gang is committing crimes, they blame it on the Native Americans because they know most of the cops are a little racist and they blame everything on the Native Americans because that's just how the cops were in this book. This is, so they use the Native Americans as scapegoats. This is a topic on race. When the, secondly, is gender. When the game was just forming, it was originally just three, three guys because Hayduke thought Bonnie couldn't handle herself in the field because she was a woman. Bonnie then, throughout the book, proves Hayduke wrong by performing all the same tasks that the men could do. That's right. And finally, class, because it's a small group of four individuals fighting these giant multi-million dollar companies. That's a big class gap. Four people versus multi-million dollar companies. Class. I hope you enjoyed our magical quest 
through the Monkey Wrench Gang with me, the Book Wizard, and my friend, the Book Dragon.